uh, when they were saying how many jobs we're going to either create or save, I, I'm not seeing any saved jobs, and yeah. I certainly haven't seen any well, created jobs. Well, it's about two and a half million. So, yeah, we're but, gonna, but they were actually bragging. They said, well, we created 150,000 new jobs. I'm like, where did you go to school? You, know, you must yeah. have been to a government school. you got to remember one thing. Last question for both of you, quick answer. Unemployment going up, foreclosures are going up. They're taking over two car companies, taking over financial institutions. You know, I'm, I'm looking at all of this, and I'm thinking, this is really serious, and I'm not, I'm not worried about where we are. We, we all have safe jobs. We're doing well. I'm worried about the person that did the right thing in this country, mm -hmm. that saved their money for their kids' college education, saved their money for their retirement. You know, look at how many. They're going to close seven more plants in Michigan, Governor, and all those auto workers are going to be out of work. Mm -hmm. You know, what is the long-term prospects here? They're not good. And I think especially for small business operators and entrepreneurs who will face a huge tax burden. And we also have to remember that uh, we're about at the place where we're going to have the same amount of debt as we do GDP. No country can sustain that. Uh, GM Chrysler may have a lot of trouble emerging from bankruptcy. You're talking about another 1.3 million job losses if these companies don't emerge. That's, out of the bankruptcy terrible. quickly and well. Yeah, government controlled Obama. Not good. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you both for being thank with you. us.